I use the term public art merely as a placeholder. I could have said monument or memorial or social sculpture or even social practice. These terms describe some, but not all the aspects of what I want to discuss. Both halves of the compound word public art are complex. It is peculiar then that when co-joined, they result in such a stale meaning. Put together, these two open-ended ideas seem diminished. The image that the word public art conjures up is of an unimaginative statues, decorative murals, street furniture plastered with tiles, abstract forms surrounded by expanses of well-kept grass, triumphal arches ringed by roundabouts, bronze likenesses of people we do not remember, generic obelisks that repeat a form without question, lions guarding the steps of institutions, plaques mounted on boulders, and even more recent inventions such as artist images on billboards. Creating a little space between the two words with insertion and brings out the potential between them, art and public, or switching it around, public and art. Jean-Luc Godard said, it takes two to make an image. I would take the liberty of reading this quote as, it takes two to make an artwork. These are the three variables in this equation, an artist, a viewer, and the image between them. The variables can be assigned different values as long as the relationship between them and the equivalence of the formula is not altered. Thus, author, text reader, or performer, scored listener, or actor, play spectator can all be plugged into the formula it takes two to make an image. Accepting this flexibility allows us to reshape hierarchies that value one of the elements over the other. This re-evaluation suggests that we can dissolve the conflict of who has more value, artist, artwork, or viewer, by tying the three together as essential parts of a whole. Accepting this means accepting that the artwork is contingent and its meaning exists only as a relationship that is always changing. How does this affect our understanding of what we call public art? Is this compound word, public usually refers to a kind of space, such as public versus private. It can also refer to a kind of recipient, such as a group versus an individual. And sometimes it means something about the ownership. It belongs to all rather than to one. But the public almost never means an active maker. The public, what is it? Is it just a group of people? Is it just a kind of space? Or is it, as Godard suggested, people making something like an image? How does it gather? Can it exist prior to the thing it gathers for? Is it always present, waiting for text, sounds, or images to be read? Or does its coming together make the thing it's coming together for appear? How passive can it be and still be a public? Since it takes two, does it, the image require the simultaneous presence of author and public? 